know, there's nothing like going up on a rooftop unit that you've been having problems with. I get the gas started on this uh, Daikin McCoy unit that I posted last week, and then this morning I had more faults, had an airflow problem, and it wouldn't restart. Then, notice that burnt wire there. These guys here were probably about a half turn loose. I've already tightened them up. But this son of a bitch here, he's fried. And if you look, he loses a goose. He's got voltage going through him, but it's uh, it's over amp and it's arcing. And uh, once they start doing that, you're done. So I'm going to have to find an FHA 100 amp switch. It's probably going to be my luck. If I remember, like the train units, they're about 600 bucks. So, looks like I'm going to be replacing this switch today and the wiring. Loose wiring every time will get you. So, guys, when you know you see little things on your PM schedules, like check all electrical connections, you definitely now want you to You talk about it. a stroke of good luck. I went back to my shop, and I'd forgotten that I'd saved the 100 amp disconnects out of a couple of train units, the Voyager units, that we were replacing about three years ago. Same model number. Same design. Got another new wire, so I'm going to hook this bad boy in, and uh, I'll contact the company that services these things. I think this is under warranty, so I'm going to get a new disconnect to replace it. I'll put it on the shelf. But it pays off sometimes to save things like this out of a old unit because they are costly. So I'm going to get this in here, and then I'm going to check the motor and everything, and make sure the windings aren't messed up. Make sure it didn't single phase. And uh, if everything's a go, and I'll go downstairs and put my fuses back in the main disconnect and switch gear and get this bad boy running. Alright. Got the new one in there. All hooked up, wired up, tight. Getting ready to turn it on. Let's hope that uh, everything is good and I don't see any more sparks. The motor checked out good, so. Probably gonna have to clear alarms off of this guy. I don't know how well that can be seen. Nothing on there right now. Go to the alarms list. No active alarms. The unit state is in the start mode. I got the fan open. See if it starts up. You start up. That's, a, that's step one. Phase shouldn't have been changed. None of the wires got squawked. All right, it wouldn't start up. And this guy here, the motor protector, it was tripped. It was hidden behind here. Let's hope this doesn't trip out again. I can understand it tripping if uh, you have one leg bad. I just didn't see it, so let's hope that uh, this guy starts up now. Motor's gone. It is in recirculation mode. I don't know if you can see that or not. So the heat's not going to come on. The outside air temp's too high. So, and I'm not going to cheat it right now. If it's if it's uh, kicking out because there's something wrong with the electrode, the igniter, it'll show up tomorrow. So right now, this bad boy, he's, you got to wait till tomorrow. There you go. Make sure your lugs are tight, man. Tell you what, that's about the probably the fourth time I've dealt with this uh, square D box or the square D disconnect, and those guys there not being snug enough. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.